In this video, we'll go in depth on how to record video like a pro. Let's dive into the camera settings for video. Tap on the camera wrench icon and then choose the video icon. First, let's talk about resolutions. Picking the right resolution for your project is key and could save you from filling up your hard drive space or hours of rendering video in post. By default, the XR will be set to 4K at 30 frames per second. That's roughly three times the size of 1080p video. Shooting in a high resolution like this will allow you to capture some amazing footage. But if your computer is a few years old and a little slow, you might experience choppy video playback on your machine, and you might want to adjust the resolution down to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Capturing 4K content can be beneficial even if your final project is a lower resolution. Having the extra pixels allows you to add digital zooms in post or allow you to reframe the entire scene altogether without losing quality. You'll notice after choosing the resolution that we can now change the frames per second option. You can choose 24 frames per second if you're trying to achieve a cinematic feel for your video. The standard frame rate for most internet sites like YouTube is 30 frames per second. But if you're looking to capture the smoothest video, try 60 frames per second. And let's not forget about slow motion. Choose the 120 frames per second icon if you're capturing high speed action. You won't need to adjust this next option very often, if at all, and it will vary based on your location. If you're in the US, you can leave this set to NTSC. The PAL option is used in a few other countries. As for format, there are two options which are almost identical. .mov is designed for Apple QuickTime, and .mp4 is designed for PCs. However, with recent updates, there's not much difference between these two. Next up, style and color. This will allow you to adjust and add filters to your footage, allowing you to get creative with your content. White balance will help balance the color temperature. Choose the setting that applies for your scene. Finally, let's take a look at adjusting the manual settings for the camera. Tap the camera settings icon. A new menu has opened and we can now see that we have two options at the top of the screen, auto and manual. When we are in auto, the ISO and shutter speeds are grayed out and the only option is to adjust the EV. Once we tap the M for manual, you can see that we can now adjust the ISO and shutter speed manually. For the best results in your video, always use the lowest ISO possible depending on your lighting. The rule of thumb with shutter speed when recording video should be double your frame rate. Meaning, if you're recording video at 4K 30 frames per second, your shutter speed should only be 1 over 60. You will most likely need to add a neutral density filter to achieve these settings in bright sunlight. We'll cover when you should use an ND filter in another video. Another important feature we can use, and it's easy to miss, is the auto exposure or AE lock. The auto exposure lock feature is very useful once you have found the right exposure for your scene. Tap this once to lock the exposure. This keeps the auto settings from changing while you're flying. For example, when panning across the horizon, you may notice that your video will automatically lighten and darken as the lighting changes. Using the AE lock will prevent this from happening. Now that you're an expert at taking photos and videos with your X-Star, be sure to share them with us online.